Inside the halls of the oldest public art gallery in England is a tribute to Rembrandt's use of light. London's Dulwich Picture Gallery honors the master of light and shadow with a seminal exhibition as part of the Year of Rembrandt celebrations, focusing on the period when he was at the peak of his career. Everybody always says Rembrandt, 17th century Dutch painter, master of light. And we wanted to ask, how? How was he a master of light? And we addressed that theme through the rooms of the exhibition by setting a different mood in each room. The curators have played around with the idea that Rembrandt could have been a filmmaker rather than a painter if he was alive today, because of his fascination with light. To achieve this unique vision, the gallery invited leading cinematographer Peter Shashitsky, known for his work on Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The labels for each painting begin with a description as though the artwork was a film, a film script. And so we describe what's happening in the paintings, the etchings and the drawings as though setting up a scene within a film. The first room is all about the influence of theatre and drama on Rembrandt's work and his sophisticated control of light to convey motion and emotion. The Denial of St. Peter tells the biblical story with a touch of theatrical light. Rembrandt tells this story in different phases through a different approach to light. The bright light in the center, the firelight in the bottom right, and then the shadowy silhouettes of the figures in the top right-hand corner. He takes us on a journey of different moods. He is able in one painting to do what a filmmaker would take two and a half hours to describe. Rembrandt didn't write very much about his work. So, to learn more about how the artist manipulated light within his studio, curators actually recreated a part of his room. Inspired by the drawing, the artist's studio. In the window setup, Rembrandt would pull a linen above the window so that light could bounce off that onto a model position below. He would shut the shutters on the bottom half of the window and we have accounts that he would use oiled cloths or blackout blinds that he would position across the glass on the windows to stream light through, manipulating light, encouraging these effects of light to create really evocative and emotional works of art. Perhaps the real star of the show is one from the gallery's own collection, Girl at a Window. The curator calls it the Mona Lisa of London, and it's easy to see why when you look into her eyes. And within the painting, Rembrandt uses a trompe l'oeil technique, which means that the figure seems to lean, to lean out of the painting. It has an illusionistic effect, and she has a wealth of blackness behind her, a darkness from which she emerges. And so to draw out this effect, we have hung the painting on a strip of the world's blackest black paint. This is a paint called Black 3.0, developed by the artist Stuart Semple. And the idea with this paint is that it absorbs 99% of all light. So then we have lit the painting very carefully so that the effect is as if the girl at a window hovers in space. So in the end, it was ordinary people depicted in a unique, sophisticated light that made Rembrandt a visionary in the 17th century. Rembrandt painted us as human beings as we are. Hatija Maryam Galgor, TRT World, London.